What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my jewelry collection and how I organize my jewelry. I am a jewelry lover and I have some really great pieces that don't tarnish and that are really good quality, but not like super, super expensive. So I'm gonna be sharing with you guys everywhere I get my jewelry from, the pieces that I own and love and that I love to wear. And this video is a part of Vlogmas. So if you're just stumbling across this video, I am doing Vlogmas. Today is Vlogmas day. 15 i'll go ahead and link the playlist down below so you guys can catch up if you haven't caught up on vlogmas yet i'm having so much fun and i can't believe that christmas is nearly like here and around the corner now for today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys my jewelry and all of the good stuff we have a lot to cover so let's get into it so i keep my jewelry right over here on top of my vanity where i keep my makeup and oh my drink is here the whole time Oops. My organization is very simple. I love to keep my jewelry out where I can see it so I can stay inspired and also so I can make sure I wear my pieces because I feel like if I kept them away like in a different area where I didn't see it then I, my pieces would not be on rotation as much because I can't fully see what I'm working with. So for my necklaces and my bracelets I use this organizer from Michaels and it's basically a two level organizer up here I keep my necklaces down here I keep my bracelets and it also has little pockets here for rings or earrings but i store those in a different place um but yeah this organizer is awesome because you get to see all of your necklaces and bracelets like laid out and i also find that it's a great like decor piece as well i feel like it makes my vanity look a little bit more like it has a little bit more character and then for the rest of the jewelry i use this organizer from amazon it's just a three drawer storage organizer and it has three different levels and inside it has like the um trays for different jewelry so it's very very simple i love it and i love that this is acrylic and you can see <laughs> that usually doesn't happen oh my gosh i just have to pick all this up what i was trying to show you guys was let me just take it out <laughs> from the top you could see it has like different pockets for organization and i love that the top is clear so that i can see um what i'm working with on the top and then kind of just pull through the other drawer so it's a very simple organization system i find that it works great because i can see everything and i constantly am having things on rotation and i also want to share with you guys my jewelry travel organizer and this is what i use to take my jewelry when i travel it is from amazon it's like a, i call it my jewelry book because it's just like a little organizer that opens up like a book and up here you can hang your necklaces down here you can tuck away anything i have this random feather uh headband and then it also has another side here. This side is great for rings. This side up here is great for earrings. So I use this for travel. And then I also use this little one that my niece got me for Christmas. And it's more of like a mini organizer. It's just for bracelets, earrings, things like that. It makes it super easy to travel with jewelry. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get into all of the different jewelry pieces. I'm gonna start by what I'm wearing and I'm wearing my wedding ring on the left. And this hand is like my mixed metals hand because my band is silver, but my actual ring is gold. And then I have this ring from Vitaly that is also mixed metals. It's silver and gold and it has a cute smiley face. And then over on this hand, I have this mini croissant ring from Lux by Layla. I love her shop. She has such great pieces. And then on this hand, I have this little small thin stacker from Lily Class, but they are actually sold out of this already. But this is like my go-to. I'm missing a ring here, but usually I like to like play around and either do two or three. So now let's get into the necklaces and the bracelets. Starting with this necklace, this is from Miranda Fry. It's a very, very basic, but I just like to use it to stack with other um, necklaces and kind of make my own stacked necklace. This is one of my favorite necklaces that I wear probably the most often, and it's the Julia chain, also from Miranda Fry. It is just so unique. Like it's the twists, the layers, the texture. It's really, really nice. And I feel like this is one of those necklaces where like when you wear it, it's such a staple and it like really completes an outfit. So I love wearing this one. This necklace is also one that is just beautiful, such a staple. And it's from M Club, also Latina owned, and it's called their Desert Chain. But I just love investing in necklaces that are like staples and like unique that really stand out. This is like a mesh chain necklace. This is a necklace I actually haven't worn. I recently got it from Gorgiana. And I love having necklaces that are like thin like this and just 
have texture but aren't like too loud i feel like they make really good for stacking so this is from gorgiana and then i have this necklace from lux by layla another simple but easy to stack necklace this pendant necklace is from ana luisa and i love it i feel like pendants like this really make stackable necklaces just come together and this one is from Ana Luisa. I love it. It's so nice. It's like a heart and then a little cross on top. This is a Cuban link necklace from XIXI which is Adrian Houghton's jewelry brand. I actually got this by accident because I ordered one for Christmas for my sister and then they sent two so I just kept this one. I don't really wear it that often but it is really nice and I feel like Cuban links are always great for stacking pieces this is probably top two of my favorite necklaces and this is a herringbone necklace from Lux by Layla I love the finish on this and just the detail on how thick it is and it makes perfect for stacking any like piece around it you can do pendant you could do a simple look or even alone like this is a really good piece to wear by itself too this is one of the rope necklaces from Lux by Layla as well. I love the detail on this and like the slight shimmer when you move it is so nice. This is one of the longer pieces and I like to have a mix of longer necklaces and smaller necklaces. Those make for like the perfect stacking combinations but this texture is just stunning. I love it. This next necklace is from Ana Luisa, another great online jewelry shop and it's more of like a link and again another beautiful stacking piece i would definitely say that like the thicker necklaces like this herringbone one and the julia chain and this um mesh one these definitely can be styled by themselves but i love to have pieces that are more minimal more dainty that i can kind of like mix around with the other ones so those are most of my necklaces these silver ones are so random i think okay this is a belly chain actually that i got from amazon and then this one i think i got from h&m but i wouldn't really recommend them um i just have them up here because i need to have them organized but these are definitely more of the jewelry that will tarnish and like is just a few uses. So I haven't used these much, but um, I have them for when I do wear silver jewelry. So moving on to the bracelets, I will say I wish I wore bracelets more often, but the main reason why I don't is because they're so hard to put on by myself, especially with these nails. So when I do wear them, I have to have my husband put them on. But this first bracelet is so beautiful. It's like such a classic bracelet and it is from Anvi Studios and then this one as well is also from Anvi Studio. I actually do customizable bracelets. This is my birthday year in Roman numerals. These two are so cute. This big one is one of my favorites as well. It's like a big um, linked bracelet and it's from Miranda Fry. Miranda Fry is a little bit more on the pricey side but I can tell the difference of quality from Miranda Fry from a lot of the different jewelry stores their quality is so so good so definitely worth the investment this is one of my favorite bracelets and then i also have these two herringbone bracelets uh this one is from miranda fry and this one is from lux by layla this bracelet i don't know what happened to this bracelet it's from Ana luisa it's like a it matches the necklace from them this one right here but um, I don't know how this tarnished. I think what happened with this is I mixed it with my silver jewelry and then this happened. But we are going to um, keep her here because she has potential. This uh, faux tennis bracelet is from Gorgana as well. And then this twisted bracelet is from Blush and Bliss. This, that is another Latina-owned boutique that I love. They sell such great jewelry pieces and this is one of them. How beautiful is the detail? I love the detail on this one and the rope and the twist. So that is all my necklaces and bracelets. So I'm going to move on to what I have in this organizer. So starting with my rings. These are my more bulky rings and I love bulky rings. This is from Miranda Fry. I love this knot. It's so, so nice. It's like such a great staple. I should actually put this on right now. This beaded ring is from Lily Clasp. This is such a great dainty piece that you can stack with other like bulky ones. I have this small dome ring and then I have this much larger one from Miranda Fry. They're both really nice but you can see the difference here in like the height. Um, one of them is a little bit thinner. I love playing around with mixed metal so I also have this gold silver diamond stacker from Lily Clasp. And then this nice black stone ring is from Lux by Layla. And then I have this one from Anvi Studios. I love the little thunderbolt. It's so nice. 
Uh, this one is from Blush and Bliss. I actually wear this one like every day. These are actually twist earrings from Ana Luisa. I love them. Don't they remind you of Paris? They're so cute. But I just have them in here. I should probably put them upside down. All of these silver ones are from H&M, I think, or Amazon. Like very random. I got them just because um, I was going to wear silver to a concert and I needed some last minute ones. But this is my original wedding ring that Eric got me. Over here on the left, I have some Huggies, which I love to wear Huggies. Actually, fun fact, I only have um, my second holes pierced on this ear, but not on this ear. These are from Lily Clasp, these two right here. They're so cute. These are from Lily Clasp. I literally never take them off. And then these larger hoops are also from Lily Clasp, and I wear these like every single day. I've had these for like a year. I wear them every single day, it feels like, and like they're like new. That's the Huggy that's here. And then I also have these two from, I can't remember where these are from, from, but I just love detailed earrings. Like they really make a big difference in a look. These are from Blush and Bliss as well. I love like that rope croissant detail, so nice. These used to be my go-to earrings before I got the ones that I'm wearing right now, but these are also from Lily Clasp. And again, that twisted rope style is so, I just love it, it's so nice. And then I got some more Huggies here. I think these are Lily Clasp or Miranda Fry, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna link everything down below that like has the exact links to everything. So that is the first drawer. And then for the second drawer, I have like my earrings and my hoops. I have these lovely hoops from M Club. I love the thickness at the bottom. Like this is just such a beautiful shape. I love it. So I have these and then these triple hoop earrings are from Blush and Bliss. These are such a great staple earring to have. I feel like they just make your ear look so elevated i love it oh okay yeah my obsession with the twist is real because i just realized i have a lot of twisted earrings but these are from miranda fry they're twisted hoops and then these hoops are from lily clasp they are similar to these but they're basically just a bigger version and a little bit thinner but they're just so nice i love these hoops these are more like elegant hoops as opposed to like the large hoops that i'm wearing right now so when i'm in that like elegant mode i always i like to swap between these two and then these earrings are from vitali they're like this chain drop earring i actually think these would look really nice in my second piercing this cuff earring is from miranda fry as well i love this it's such a unique piece to have this part goes into your ear hole and then this part gets cuffed around like your cartilage or that area so it basically droops like this on your ear it's really really nice so that is the second drawer pretty simple i love my hoops and then the third drawer is a bunch of random jewelry like these earrings that i think i got from where did i get these from i think i got these from target like very very random i wanted to keep my random jewelry down here just because i don't really wear it that often because i know like i get limited use out of it and then these bow earrings are from amazon as well i wore these for my sister's wedding and they're actually really beautiful i just have to keep them apart from the rest of the jewelry so they don't get tarnished these pearl drop earrings are from paris i love these earrings so much they remind me of our trip and they're just like so special to me they're not like the highest quality i feel like i got these for very very cheap but just like what they mean to me is enough for me to keep them. I don't wear them often, but I love it. It's so Parisian and just reminds me of good times, good times. These are actually thrifted. Um, I've had these for such a long time and they're like this knotted drop earring. They're super cute and they've lasted me quite a while. I mean, the back is a little dusty, but Overall, they're still like in good shape. I figured I'd just share with you guys like all of my jewelry and link everything down below so that you guys can um, have easier access to it. If you ever like see me wearing something in a video that you want links to, you can always refer to this this video because it'll have like everything. I forgot to mention the necklaces that I'm wearing. This one is from Vitali. It's just this long, simple necklace. And then this one is a herringbone necklace it's from Lily Class. But yeah, that's basically my jewelry organization, how I keep it organized and my entire jewelry collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I know the last two videos well including this one is like more of a sit down video but tomorrow's video will be back on our vlog status and vlogging like normal. Thank you guys so much for all of the support so far on Vlogmas. I really really appreciate it and I'm so glad that you guys are enjoying Vlogmas and that we are just enjoying the holidays together and I'll link everything down below that I can find that I mentioned in this video the pieces the organization and all of that so that you guys can have it handy. And that's basically it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.